Snow, I'm Keith Ford. And I'm Steve Ostrom. And today we're here at Rock Island Auction House to bring you another gun from the vault. Today we have something rather unique. This was a presentation rifle from Hermann Goering, the Nazi, to Franz Gertner. He headed the Ministry of Justice during the Third Reich. Um, he's the guy that justified a lot of the stuff that would normally have been criminal acts under that regime. But that's not why we're looking at this gun. Uh, the provenance is special, sure, but uh, this gun in itself is a piece of art. It's very special. So let's look at it really close. So what we have is a heavily modified 98 Mauser. And all the bells and whistles have been applied, as you can see. It has a detachable scope, claw mounts, Mounts are soldered to the scope tube, which was normal back then. They just take the scope all the way apart. They weren't sealed with nitrogen or anything. I'm gonna set that aside just to make things simple. That way you can see a little better. Color cased receiver. Matted rib going all the way up the barrel with an express sight. This has a safety like a lot of the German drillings did back in the day. It has a lever release for the floor plate. Very nice, very continental. Bolt handle, flat, engraved. Engraved checkering actually, not filed in. Very nice. It also has this unique cheek piece, and if you, let's see if I do this right, raises itself when you push the button forward. Very slick. So I don't know if you'd be spooking game when you did that, but you sneak up on them, and when you want to use your scope, pop. If you're gonna take the scope off and use the iron sights, you leave it in the down position. Piece is beautifully checkered on the back here. Looks like a horn pistol grip cap, and it's got this little plate engraving here that says Wei Weidmann's Heil Weihnachten 1940, which is uh, Good Hunting, Christmas 1940. Very nice present, uh, I guess, considering the circumstances, but it has the double set triggers, all the screws are, oh, one, one last little feature here, if I tip it up on end. This is a takedown gun, so when you pull these out, these little claws hold the front end of the action in and you can lift it on out. We're not gonna do that. But that keeps the gun together. So you can have it broken down to take on the train to your hunting trip, to your lodge or whatever. And I gotta say, this is uh, pretty unique. This is, attention to detail on this is the number one thing. You can even see the, the fine jewel marks in here on the follower. Everything, this is, this was way above and beyond. I mean, this is what a custom gun maker would dream to build. I think when you have a client that important yep. in your government, they, you probably went all out. Yeah. There was no expense spared on this. And so despite its history, it's still a very interesting piece in its own right. Yes. Now this was captured by a glider pilot. Yeah, a glider pilot out of Chicago brought mm -hmm. it. And uh, back in the 90s, his son sold it to Adams and Spencer, I okay. think. And then the gun came up for sale, well, just now. Just mm -hmm. now in 2019. Yeah, this is definitely a piece to bring home from from the war, just imagine the history behind it. I wonder if he even knew really what he had at the time. I don't know, but I, I don't think old Franz could use it anymore. Nope. He has no use for it. Yep. <laughs> just amazing, the, the quality and the detail in this. Seven by 64 is the caliber, mm -hmm. I believe, which is a really good hunting caliber. That's almost on a par with a seven mag. Yep. More like a 280, I guess, be close, close to it. Mm. Amazing. So it'd be a very useful hunting rifle too yes, it would be. for big game. Nice gun. 
We'd like to thank Rock Island Auction House for letting us look at this very rare piece of history, and we'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from, from the, the vault. vault.